Hello all, welcome back to Fallout 4. The next gen update just came out. I tried it a little bit. It felt like it was working. I think in downtown Boston, my frame rate was much better. However, I couldn't really tell if it was the game itself because I wasn't running any mods. And the reason why I wasn't running any mods is because this next gen update broke the script extender. So I tried to run my build as you can see right here, open up my ML2. I try to run the script extender and then I get this error right here so i tried looking around for some solutions and then i came across this reddit post right here from this person all right time out hold the phone right there my guy this is me from the future telling you to not use the reddit link instead use the description underneath this video i will paste the download depot links and those links are the ones that i use because i ended up using the reddit one and it did not work for me first thing you want to do is you want to copy this this line right here then you want to open up your browser then you want to go here you want to paste it in your browser then you want to go like this then this is going to pop open right then you want to go to this line right here don't everything before these dots so you want to scroll here you want to grab this I've already made an attempt on this first file but you want to click in here like this you cannot right click in here to press paste, right? So when you click in here, you have to hold control and then press V to paste the line in. Then press enter. Then it's going to begin downloading. Now, this is a pretty big file. As you can see, it's 5,332 megabytes. So just sit there and wait for it to download. All right, so once your file is downloaded, what you wanna do is you wanna come over to Steam. You wanna go to Steam apps. You wanna go to content. And then you want to find this folder right here, app 377160. You want to open that up, open the depot folder, and then you want to copy this data folder right here. And then you want to go to wherever you have your Fallout 4. So mine is here, common Fallout 4, and then I just paste it. Okay, so it's copying everything over. I don't even know why my screenshots are popping up in my freaking data folder of the that's weird anyway so yeah as you can see it's going through and this was just i don't know i just did whatever all right then you just do it for the same thing on the other ones so i'm just going to try it again i'm going to grab the fallout content v now copy this Go back into here, go back to your console. Here, control V, paste that in, wait for it to download. And we're pretty much just going to do this for all of the lines, including the DLC, and then I'll just pick up recording again once I've downloaded all of the depots. So we're just gonna jump ahead here. All right, so here we are. We have everything downloaded. Once you have it downloaded, you just, same thing like the other one. You go here, you copy all of these, Copy, then you open up your Fallout 4. And right here in the main directory, you just paste it in here. So now I could just paste it in here. Place. Yes, sir. Then just, you know, just keep, keep doing it. This one, cut these. Paste it in there place okay so now that we finished taking the files from the depot and placing it into our games folder and we went ahead and deleted all of the creation club content or just put it aside whichever one you prefer and then now i'm going to try to go back into my mod organizer and i'm going to try to run this this program requires Steam. Um, okay. Okay, I had to log back into Steam. All right, so now I'm gonna launch from Fallout Script Extender. And fingers crossed. We are back. I could already tell because of my colored uh, startup screen. And there we go. Boom. Load up my game. Let's see what we got going on here. 
All right, there we go. We're back in game. My mods are working. There you go. All right. How can a machine keep it alive? Power up. It's so bad. All right. So let me back out of here. Ooh, it's good to be back, man. <laughs> because that update was crazy. So yeah, um, I'm going to put the links in the description to the depots i am not going to paste the link to the reddit one because i actually tried it and it didn't work so i actually went and used these depots from another post that i found from somebody and i'm going to paste that in the description below so just follow what i did copy the depots paste it into your steam console wait for it to download then grab those files and replace it in your fallout 4 game folder if you're still here watching i hope this tutorial helped you Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for stopping by. Leave a like on the video if it helps you and to help the video gain some traffic. And I will see you all next time. Take care. Really quickly, I almost forgot. Go over here to your game. Right click on it. Go to properties. Go to updates. And then change this from always keep this game updated to only update this game when I launch it. So make sure that you do that. And then also... Do it for the creation kit. My modders, make sure that you do this. For the updates, only update this game when I launch it. All right? This is asking me for an update. I hope it didn't break. If it does, you know, somebody just put a depot online somewhere, and we'll cover that as well. All right? So thanks again.